Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iOS 18 Beta 7. Finally, Apple has released the iOS 18 Beta 7 and in this quick little episode, we are going to talk about what's new in this update and is it worth installing this update or not. A quick little spoiler alert, this update is not exciting at all and uh, if you guys are expecting any new features or changes, like a big feature on changes, you are not gonna be satisfied because this update came at just 350 MB on my device, just a bit over that, and it was a really small update. The only few things that are new in this update are pretty minor changes. Let's talk about it in this video. My name is Jay, you are watching Tech Hyped. If you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button because I keep on making these type of videos for you guys and I don't want you guys to miss these. Obviously, I'm one of the first person making videos about this. Let's get right into this video. All right, so the number one thing that I immediately noticed after updating to my device to this firmware was that the build number is different, of course, but I freed up around 700 MBs on my device, which is actually surprising because considering that this update was really small, getting so much storage back after installing a 300 MB something update on your device is a big thing. And it varies from device to device. So probably you are gonna get more storage back after installing this update on your device. Keep in mind, if you are already on iOS 18 beta, only then you will get more storage on your device after installing this update. Then talking about the battery life. Obviously, I just installed this update. It's barely been an hour that I'm using my device on this update. So I can't really talk a lot about battery life as of now, but because it is too soon for me to talk about it and I have not yet tested my device on this, but fingers crossed, I hope so that the battery life on this update is better than earlier because iOS 18 has been really bad in terms of battery life. Talking about the bug and fixes, there are a lot of fixes and bug resolved in this update. So if you are having some issues and bugs on your current beta, of iOS 18, you should definitely install it because there are a lot of changes in terms of security fixes and bug fixes are here as well. I was having Wi-Fi disconnection bug on my device, which is now finally resolved on this update. In talking about the new feature, scrolling on Safari, there is a new mode which is used to prevent ads. Basically, it is a enhanced version of reading mode on our devices. The reading mode that you have now, it is more enhanced and basically it will just remove all the pop-up ads that you get for a short amount of time. And it basically, it will just download all the text from the image and it will show you all of that without sacrificing on the data. All in all, it is a pretty small and minor update. There is nothing exciting going on here. Do not expect anything majorly new or anything. There are no new wallpapers on Beta 7 as well. So there is that. Thank you so much for watching this quick little episode of iOS 18 Beta 7 on my device. I will be coming up with a deeper dive in this update. I am looking for some hidden features and changes. Let's hope so that I find some and make video about it on my channel later today. Peace out and have a great day everyone. Make sure to subscribe if you are new here.